How do trees survive in bone-chilling winters of the north in Michigan and Canada? You, you know, if you leave water outside in a pipe during the winter, when water freezes, it expands, it will burst the pipe. Trees are filled with water. Why aren't they just bursting open and splitting in the winter? Well, there's two mechanisms that allow this to happen. First of all, as the weather gets colder in the fall, water is drained out of the cells, sugar is concentrated in the cells of, of the trees, and they become literally like a very thick molasses that does not freeze at extreme sub-freezing temperatures. Second, the water drains out of the trees into the ground so that there's not a lot of water in the very trunks of the trees. As a result, when they freeze, even the water that's in the, what's left in the tree, it's outside of the cells. So when that expands, it doesn't rupture and break the tree cells. The trees are designed by God to freeze, but unlike a water pipe, they don't freeze in a way they expand and burst. Where we find a design, we know there's a designer. God designed every atom, every cell, every system that makes a tree grow and thrive, including its ability to survive bone-chilling temperatures in the winter.